Hello, I am Ovi of OviDurant.com. Earlier today, a friend of mine asked me what type of a, an editor do I use to create my PHP, Python, and even HTML. Well, I use Komodo from a company called Active State, and Komodo has two versions, the Edit and the IDE. The Edit is absolutely free, and to get it, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to their website, Active State's website, and from here, you're going to choose, oh, by the way, the, the site is www.activestate.com. From here, we're going to choose Developer Tools, Komodo, and Komodo Edit. Click on the Download button. Click on Download again and, and put it on your desktop. And from your desktop, double-click it and install it. I've already done that step, so we're going to go right to Komodo. Now from here, if I wanted to create an HTML file, you click on New and File from a Template. They have multiple templates for a lot of different programs. As you can see, they have C, C++, Java, JavaScript, uh, Perl, PHP, and Python, and many others. Uh, but today we're just going to create a simple HTML file. We're going to give it a name, which is test.html. I'm going to put it on my htdocs folder. Click on open, and here it is. I'm going to go ahead and give this page a title. I'm going to create an h1 tag. And notice that it, it creates a close tag for me as well. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, click on Save File. Now to open it on the browser, just go up here to this little icon and click on the down arrow and select the browser you want to preview it with. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and preview with Firefox. Leave that as default. Click on preview. And there it is. Now you can also preview this file right here in Komodo without having to leave it. And the way you do that is go back to the world icon and click on preview in a Komodo tab. Click OK or preview. And here's the tab right here without having to leave Komodo. Now, if I made a change here, you'll be able to see the change in the tab, in the tab below. Just click on save, and there it is. There's the change. Now, I want to preview a PHP file, and I'm going to go ahead and select, let's select date. Okay, I already have some code here. We can do the same. Click on preview. And, oh, there's something wrong. And the reason is I haven't uh, uh, turned on my Apache server. So let me go ahead and start the server first. It's on. And in order to view a PHP file, you're going to have to uh, view it in, as a local host. There it is. And that's it. It works just fine. Now, one thing I like about Komodo is if you're writing PHP or Python, and if you make an error, let's say that I forget in my code to put the semicolon, I take that out, I click on save, I go back to the browser, refresh, it gives me uh, an error. And the, it tells me exactly what line to look at to find that error, in this case it's line 8 
or immediately before. So if I go back to Komodo and we know that this is line 8, the error is either here or right before it, in this case line 6, we know that we omitted the semi semicolon. So I'm going to go ahead and put it back, click on save, go back to my browser, refresh, and there it is. It's working well again. So this is it. This is a, a short tutorial on Komodo Edit. I hope you found it useful. Again, I am Ovi Duran. If you found this video useful, uh, please click on the subscribe button below. Thanks for watching.